Welcome everyone back to another video from The Source. As of recent, there's been no shortage of Star Wars news on the internet with the recent releases of The Mandalorian on Disney+, Plus, the release of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order the video game, or the upcoming December 20th release of Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Ewan McGregor is officially confirmed to be returning as Obi-Wan Kenobi in a Disney Plus series coming soon. And of course, there will be plenty more information concerning a galaxy far, far away very soon as well. But one of the most interesting developments to emerge was Lucasfilm releasing an official timeline of the entire Star Wars franchise for the first time ever. In recent years, the chronology of Star Wars has become increasingly convoluted thanks to both the prequel and sequel trilogies, anthology movies, and the upcoming slate of Disney Plus shows. Not only that, but two other trilogies are also in development, one from Ryan Johnson and the other from Game of Thrones showrunner David Benioff and D.B. Wise. Now though, we have a nice, clean timeline that lays out everything. And as you can see, the prequel trilogy, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Solo A Star Wars Story, and the upcoming Obi-Wan Kenobi series are now known as the Age of Republic. The original trilogy, meanwhile, falls under the Age of Rebellion alongside Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, Star Wars Rebels, The Mandalorian, and the still untitled Cassian Andor spin-off show, while the most recent sequels and Star Wars Resistance now comprise the Age of Resistance. It appears as though Lucasfilm is taking a cue from Marvel Studios here in rebranding the franchise into distinct phases, but the release of an official timeline also goes a long way to clearing up some of the confusion surrounding exactly when some of the events in the Star Wars mythology take place. We've all been following the new series The Mandalorian, and I personally have been loving it so far. And yes guys, I of course have seen all the memes of Baby Yoda, but I'm very excited because if this is where the series is going and this is where Star Wars is heading, I don't see anything wrong with it. But as always, that's going to do it for today's video. If you liked it, please be sure to throw me a thumbs up down below, comment your opinion, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and have a good one guys. Peace.